So this divine masculine has to go. Okay. So while he was with this karmic feminine, he realized some things because it's like, although they had, so his situation with the karmic feminine is similar to the situation with divine feminine and the karmic masculine because there's a child involved, but, um, that's not how the situation was supposed to go. Divine masculine was using the karmic feminine to make divine feminine jealous. But then the karmic feminine was being coached by the baby mama number two on how to keep this masculine. But it was really divine feminine who the karmic feminine was connecting to. Um, you know, because his attention was on divine feminine. So with his emotions not being attached to the karmic feminine, what she was doing wasn't really working. So uh, the karmic feminine and the and the vi masculine's ex started working together to convince this masculine that divine feminine didn't want him, and vice versa by imitating energies to convince them that neither one of them wanted each other. So then the vi masculine would give up on divine feminine and deal with the situation he's in, but the feelings that he has. For divine feminine wouldn't allow him to consume himself with the karmic feminine. So she, you know, took the situation for what it was, made it seem like they were in a happy relationship, but only because the divine masculine thought that he found his divine feminine. So when divine feminine took her energy away from the karmic, that's when the masculine started realizing that this karmic wasn't like, he, I guess he felt like his feelings for her were fading because he couldn't get divine feminine off his mind. So with the, the, you know, situation now, the BM number two or divine masculine's ex is going to try to convince him that by, um, Dang, my baby need me right now. Um, shoot. Hey, baby. No, Stefan. Where's Stefan? So now when he gets with this ex, the ex is going to try to... Because she... she um, like, I don't know. I guess she feel like divine feminine is the reason why she lost this masculine. But that has nothing to, like, how does him, here, baby. How does him, it's like, you know, he has multiple females that he mess with. So why does him getting attached, like, wanting to move on, like, type stuff? Like, I don't know. Um, but I guess, yeah, this this ex has, she, she want to get her, her lick back or whatever. So she wants to convince Divine Feminine that this masculine decided to come back and chose her instead of Divine Feminine. So then, um, you know, but the divine masculine already knows what's, what's T. So he, the same way he um, put the karmic feminine in her place for divine feminine, he's going to do the same thing with the ex. And uh, um, when the masculine sees that divine feminine is sticking up for herself and responding that matches his downloads because when this ex tries to communicate with you as divine masculine you're still not communicating because what she's trying to do is to get information before she makes her moves so she knows what to say to get him to believe that she is divine feminine but he has to remember like 
it's easy for you to pick up on that energy and to just say it. You feel me? But, you know. Like, I think Divine Feminine's attention will be towards Divine Masculine and, uh, you know, stuff like that. Not how to go back and forth with this ex about being with, like, you know, trying to throw it in your face or whatever or something like that. But the same way with this Karmic Feminine, Divine Masculine's love for Divine Feminine is not going to be able to compare to this ex trying to cause more time to be wasted. And it's basically like this divine masculine is fighting for divine feminine. So whatever this ex thinks she's doing towards divine feminine, this masculine is going to nip it in the bud and um, basically coach divine feminine. And then when the situation happens, divine feminine has to do her part and that's going to, make the masculine proud so it's like seeing the look on this ex's face about dang she know or she catching on or da, 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 da. because once the situation happened where the masculine left divine feminine for the karmic feminine that's when the bm number two she disappeared from the scene because she was doing stuff behind the scenes or trying to like get people to do stuff you know, so she wasn't there to actually see, or she's not there to actually know. And the people that she sent in, they don't know either because it's like you do have a good poker face, or um, um, they want to know do you know about certain things, and when they expose it to you, you don't show any. So it's like you either know or you don't know or it's hard to get through to you or something like that. So basically saying like if you want something done to do it yourself. So but what this masculine is doing with this ex is fighting for divine feminine. So it's like um, while this karmic is trying to tear divine feminine down, this masculine is giving divine feminine the blueprint to how to I don't know be brave Because it's like you're not in this fight alone. You have somebody on your team. But now this time it's like. Your surroundings. an apology so I feel like once uh, this masculine sees you he's going to apologize for the way he handled you when he had you in his possession because of what he allowed people to the picture that he allowed people to paint of you Uh. Um, so this masculine could be working on <clears throat> um, letting his emotions get the best of him to allow people to be able to emotionally manipulate him because when you're in that emotional state it's like you're gullible you're naive you believe everything that people say and all that stuff like that or you could just be an overthinker and you allow other people's opinion to um affect your emotional decisions so i feel like he's just gonna skip the middleman become vulnerable because there are things in common that you guys have. 
Yeah. understanding by going through it so this masculine he so if your masculine is going through a situation that you have oh, like a similar like, I don't know it's because he's trying to connect with you they say that it's a mirror connection or something like that he's mirroring your situation to understand you and the way that he handled the situation versus how you know Something. What you find? Okay. A water sign and an air sign. Or it could be this masculine wanting a second chance, but, um, Feeling like he messed it up. He 